Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you vCenter Operations Foundation, which is free. So let's log on to the vCenter Operation Manager uh, user interface with a, a browser. I'm, uh, I have to put in a username and the username in this case is admin and during the, uh, during the deployment of the, uh, of the vApp you can uh, provide uh, user IDs and passwords. My password is VMware123 and I'm hitting the log on button. So what you see is that uh, the look of the vCenter Operation Foundation version is a little bit different from the standard or the enterprise version because there's not a real, a real dashboard here. What you can see is the world and you see the health of the world and in this case it's uh, 96 the score is 96 and the health within the foundation version is based on the workload and the faults so there is no uh, real s there are smart alerts but uh, it's very basic so let's open the world and let's take a look at the objects that are within the world so my vCenter server is called antipro.nl and when I'm hitting antipro.nl I will see that the health of the world is still 96 but I'm at this level right now so uh, the health isn't that good of the antipro.nl server let's take a look at the problems with my vCenter server we see that the health is zero and the health is zero because there's one fault and the faults are coming from vCenter directly so when there is an alerted within vCenter then false will become 100 and in this case false is responsible for uh, a low health for my vCenter server when I'm going to false I will see what's causing the error and this is uh, coming from the vCenter server directly and we see that there there's some problem with uh, the web service that is normally uh, checking the health of the vCenter server so there are some cool things within the foundation version. One new thing is groups. And with groups you can gather several objects and put them in a group. So what I did for instance is that I went to, uh, I created a group in environment. And the environment group is, uh, is a collection of virtualized ESX hosts. I have three virtual machines running ESXi. And I have combined those virtual machines in a group and they are an environment group but you can also create a group yourself and uh, for instance when I'm going to uh, to function I'm able to create a new group and a new group uh, could be VMworld 2012 Barcelona the description test uh, it's uh, a function group and the default policy is active right here I'm going to show you the policies later on next uh, we have to select the objects within vCenter that are members of that group and I'm going to select a few virtual machines I'm going to select the Windows 2008 virtual machines right here uh, add next finish so I've created a group and I'm able to monitor those those three virtual machines and I can also see the combined health and and uh, of those virtual machines you can also do it based on location or department or I can create another function group I can create a second function group for my uh, VCOps virtual machines function next and there are two VCOps virtual machines because VCOps is running in a virtual appliance and when I'm going right here I will see the analytics VM and the user interface VM so they are both in a group next finish so now you see uh, you have created multiple groups and, and, and those groups can be monitored as separate entities within your uh, within your uh, vCenter operations uh, and it, it will take some time before uh, the first data is calculated but after an hour 
then there is already some data available. So the nested servers were created an hour ago and you see that the health is 100. So there is another view, the view data stores, and the view data stores is also really cool because you can monitor the health of all your data stores within your uh, vSphere environment. And you see that there is a health score of 94, so there are no real problems yet. Uh, but when I'm going to look at the data source here, 9 out of 9, I see that there is a, a, a large workload. I've powered on several virtual machines at the same time. And we can see here that the, the health is 10. And uh, it's, it's bound by, by space because the disk space is uh, over 90%. Disk I.O. is not that much, but you can also see other data stores. Disk I.O. is pretty low everywhere. Let's take a look at the SATA data stores. Uh, there is some disk I.O. right here. And uh, the nice thing is that you can also see the latency uh, when you uh, select uh, an, a data store and you are going to the, to the details. Um, another thing you can do is create notifications. Notifications are real great to to send out an email alert, and uh, there are you can add a notification and you can put in a, a rule name. You can put in an email address, and you can say, "Well, I want uh, the warnings, the criticals, the immediates, and I want it based on uh, the workload." And you can put in uh, an object name like uh, a data center or a cluster. In this case, I'm selecting a data center and I'm doing this for all the data stores within that data center. So now you have, you have created a notification and you can also configure the batch levels when you are going to configuration and you are going to the, to the policies, then there is a default policy and in this policy you can configure at what level uh, the health will become red, orange, or yellow, and it also goes for the, the, the virtual machine batches and the group batches, and you can all configure the alerts also. So based on these colors, an email is uh, sent out or not. So this was a quick overview of vCenter Operations Foundation, vCenter Operations Manager Foundation. Uh, the, 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 the nice part is hosting clusters, a complete overview of all your virtual machines, your clusters, and your ESX hosts. And you have the ability to dive down the workload. It's a combination of the, the health is a combination of the workloads and the faults. Um, and you can also go to groups and create your own nested groups or you, uh, your own groups based on location or security zone or department. And you have a pretty good overview of all your data stores, including metrics like uh, latency, I.O. throughput, and capacity. That's it for now. Eric Sloof is signing off. Bye-bye.